What to wear to a disco party? Well, you're going to want to just think sparkle, shiny, 70s, metallic. That is uh, what you want to keep in mind for disco. Uh, you really want that Saturday night feverish look. Uh, so anything shiny, silver, gold, shiny blacks, any of your metallics are going to work great. As you can see with Kelly, we pulled out a vintage piece. This is actually a great fun little poncho piece that we've just tossed on over her that um, you could do uh, a very similar tube top feature with the sequins. Uh, any of these sequined looks are great for a disco look. Tube tops were definitely very popular during the 70s, so those are all great looks. Uh, as far as for your pants, we put together a cute little um, skirt piece for her. You could do bell bottoms, you could do hot shorts, something very, very short. Uh, a little cheeky jomo showing. Those are all very popular for that disco 70s look. Yeah, as well, you're going to want to keep that thematic into your shoes, some nice shiny gold ones, silver ones, uh, anything with a good shine. Definitely heels are more appropriate. Uh, the platform, of course, was very popular during that time as well, so having a platform heel versus the thin pointy heel is just as appropriate. So all of those are great for a fun disco. Those uh, go-go boots are still being worn very heavily, so you can even throw those on. Just make sure you've got it with the metallic shines and whatnot of the disco 70s versus that plastic um, platiny 60s attire. So to finish off your disco look, uh, nothing screams better than the Farrah Fawcett do. So um, certainly going with something like that is going to be uh, great, great for your disco look. Uh, Kelly here, uh, we've changed up her look just simply by adding a wig. This is a Ferret Fossil styled wig, so it's easy. You just throw it on and it's already styled for you. Uh, if you're lucky enough to have a good length and uh, uh, a fringed bang is going to work better than a straight hair, but uh, you can make it work a little bit with that straight hair as well. Just simply pulling it back with a round brush <clears throat> or a curling iron to give back that nice Ferret Fawcett flip back. I'm doing that on both sides, maybe a little bit more of a side part, uh, but something to that effect, giving you a great Farrah Fawcett look. If you're not going to do the Farrah Fawcett look, please keep in mind uh, Cher during the disco times and her long, straight, straight hair. Uh, those are all very popular disco looks. And, of course, any style uh, uh, afro will work, male or female. And they were very popular with colors during that time. So feel free to pull out that hot pink afro. That's going to be great fun for a disco look. Um, nothing screams more than hoops for a disco look. Of course, there's disco balls and other such fun jewelry pieces that you can add for the ears. Um, any of the big metal jewelry is great for a disco look. Um, anything that, you know, stars, moons. Uh, anything celestial like that is going to be great for a um, piece to wear for your disco ensemble. And just finish it off with uh, maybe some eyelashes or lots of uh, mascara at least. Really get those eyes to pop. Uh, some little bit of liner. Watch your uh, eyeshadows. Uh, you're not going to want to get um, too crazy in the metallics, but definitely a little bit of metallic is fun. Of course, you can always do um, a little bit of color. Leave that blue for um, more of the 80s, though. Uh, you can do a lighter blue to the lid and keep that. A little bit of the disco is okay, but um, there's a lot of other colors to choose from. And definitely get those lips out there. Uh, they were very much into the shine, so you can do a little bit of a gloss on those lips. You can even throw a little bit of that clear gloss up on the eyes and get a little bit of a shine up there. And all those ideas put together are going to give you a great disco look.